learn to crochet the slip stitch and make a tube with the American Crochet Association. For this tutorial, we'll start with a slip knot and chain 15. To form a tube, slip stitch to the first chain. Make sure your chain is not twisted. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through the stitch and loop on your hook. The slip stitch does not count as a stitch. Chain three to give the height of a double stitch. This does count as your first stitch, so place one stitch marker into the top. You can make a tube with any stitch, but the double is tall, so it will help us to demonstrate. Now you're ready to start round one, which is easiest to do from the back of the chain. Work one double stitch into each stitch around the chain until you have 15 total. When you've completed round one, count the front of each stitch. You can count from the top of each stitch too. Your 15th stitch should end with the stitch marker. Now you're ready to finish this round. Insert your hook into the top of the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch and the loop on your hook. This does not count as a stitch. Chain three to give the height of a double stitch. This counts as your first stitch, so place one stitch marker into the top. Work one double into each stitch around until you have 15. When you've completed the round, count from the front of each stitch. You can count the top of each stitch too. Your 15th stitch should end with the stitch marker. Now you're ready to join this round. Insert your hook into the top of the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch and the loop on your hook. The slip stitch does not count as a stitch. Repeat round two until four rounds are complete. Here we can see all the rounds face the same direction, which can give a clear line between each one. One, two, three, four. After you count four rounds, you can fasten off your work. Cut your yarn and pull the tail through the loop until a knot forms.
Thank you for learning with the American Crochet Association.